everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. Um, hydrogen man. All right, let's talk about how to treat frequent urination today. This is a really interesting one because it's something that I didn't expect. Uh, I've never read any actual scientific studies uh, studying hydrogen and its effects on frequent urination. And so this is what ultimately happened. I've had a lot of experiences with hydrogen. I've been, I've been in, you know, into hydrogen for years now and have been learning a great deal. And also I learn a lot from people that I either personally know uh, that eventually get on hydrogen. And I just learn a lot from everybody's different experiences. There's one thing in particular that I just see like across the board of people who, either, who use hydrogen properly, meaning that they, they're making it properly, they're getting the proper levels, they're on a proper protocol, you know, when they're doing everything correctly. One thing I've seen across the board is people who have any issues with frequent urination, it gets better. It's really, really crazy. So like I have many examples. I mean, there was a gentleman, probably the most extreme example. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll talk about like my own experiences. You know, I'm a big water drinker. So I'd get up, you know, like one time at night, maybe at most two times, I guess, something along those lines, maybe on a bad night, it would be three times. I don't know, but I would say about two times that I would get up in the middle of the night to use a restroom. When I used hydrogen, the interesting thing about hydrogen that I've been noticing, and I'll make another video about this too, is that the longer I get on it, the more things that I'm seeing just as time goes by. And one of the things that I've noticed is my bladder control. It is insane. Like I will literally, I never wake up anymore <laughs> to use the restroom at night, but here's where it gets even stranger, especially since I got on the HydroFix probably about a year now. What I noticed was I will wake up in the morning, I will get started on my routine, and I just forget to go to the restroom. I completely forget that I have to pee and I'll, I'll be doing all sorts of different things. And then I realize it and I, I almost like, not that I have to force myself to go, but I'll, I'll just go. And I found that really, really odd. In fact, I even did some research on it because I thought, are there people in the world who wake up and don't have to go pee? And I couldn't find anything. <laughs> it was really interesting because that's pretty unusual that I just don't find anything. And so that was kind of interesting. And some of the more extreme cases, there was a female lady that I talked to. This was many years ago also, but this particular lady would get up to go to the bathroom like five or six times a night. So it was really disrupting her sleep. I got her on a proper hydrogen protocol and after she was on hydrogen also for quite a while, her bladder control got better and better. She went, you know, from three times to two times to only having to wake up at night either once or just zero times. So that was pretty interesting. And the most extreme case that I've ever known is, again, somebody that I know personally, a gentleman in his 70s, this particular guy had prostate cancer. They had removed his prostate. He had had radiation. He was told by the doctors, hey, you know, you're gonna have issues with this. You're gonna have to wear like diapers and you're not gonna be able to control your bladder very well. I got him on a really good hydrogen protocol. And this gentleman, again, he's like in his 70s. So he went from only, he basically went to only waking up once at night and sometimes even sleeping completely through the night. And he's a big water drinker. So that was also one of the more dramatic ones that I've ever seen. His doctors were really impressed by that. They almost couldn't believe it. They were like, are you serious? Are you sure? <laughs> and so he shared this with me and I'm like, you know, I've been observing this for years. So I thought I'd share the information with everybody out there, especially people who want to know how to treat such such an issue you know more naturally and the cool thing is, is that when you use something like hydrogen that's not really going to be probably the only effect you're going to have all sorts of other wonderful positive effects in regards to your health so it wouldn't just be that but that's just something that i've noticed that i've never read in any scientific studies and again more from using it for a longer period of time has been my observation so yeah guys if you liked the video and you found this interesting and helpful as usual give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and share the video if you think that other people out there will find this interesting because it can really disrupt your sleep. It can really be uncomfortable and a lot of people just don't know about hydrogen, guys. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next video.